first off, I want to say something. This price is going to go up. All right, we, we launched it originally at $17 a month. Now we're up to $37 a month because the features are just getting explosive. We're offering things right now that is like search engine optimization rank tracking. That's a part of this project um, that you get this immediately. You can uh, rank as many of your websites as you want. You can track them all. You can not only track yours, but you can track your customers and all your campaigns. This is unlimited, all right? So this price is gonna go up again too shortly because we're launching some new features here soon. Um, so without further ado, I'm gonna show you some of these amazing features with the online dashboard and why it's gonna save you time, save you resources, it's gonna make you more money, it's gonna save you money So because now you don't have to pay for virtual assistants, go collect analytics information and compile it in one area for you every month. This does it for you automatically. You set it up once, you forget it, you just keep using it. It's amazing. It's going to help you sell your customers uh, more services. So if you're selling SEO, you're going to sell um, social media because you put a couple widgets in front of their face. So every time they log in and see how well you're doing, they see this other indicator that they're not paying you for just sitting stagnant. And they're like, I don't have time to work on that. So now you have that as an opportunity to sell them something. This is also going to help you find correlations between what you're doing in the internet marketing world, what's working, what's not working, uh, what's causing the traffic on the web to flow to your website or flow to your landing pages or flow to your social media platforms or your um, or your online webcasts. I mean, you can track everything from help desk, help desk tickets through um, your uh, FreshBooks invoices, your Salesforce, your Google Analytics, your social media accounts. Um, your Facebook, Twitter, uh, Pinterest, uh, you can track as many things as you want to. This is amazing and it's just not going to end right here. You have a login access for your customers to see private access, private information that has to do with just their account only. All right, uh, They don't see all, all of your other customers' accounts. Um, you can create uh, custom widgets. So if you have a credit card processing system and you can put that in there as a custom widget for your customers to pay you for an upgraded feature. Um, you have uh, Google Webmaster AdWords. We just released the MCC AdWords. So if you're an agency and you track multiple AdWords campaigns, you can now track it all inside of here um, with a couple clicks of a button. This is all private, all secure. You only have access to this. No one else does. It follows all the API guidelines and security measures that each company that we work with um, requires. Google requires uh, API credential um, security encryption, all that stuff. Twitter, all the other companies do. Facebook. So this is protected, this is private only to you, okay? So um, this is amazing. We're increasing the price after this launch. Um, we just wanna get this in the hands of more people. New features, uh, you can go to uh, from dark to light. You can put your own, uh, own uh, what's it called, uh, background. So you can brand it to your own companies. You can even, I'll show you how to put this into your um, wet own website through an iframe. So it's all branded to you. Unlimited, unlimited, unlimited. Get in now. Hurry up because this is not. This offer is not going to last long. I promise you. It's already increased. It's going to increase again. Then we go public on the web. It's $197 a month, guys. There's no bullshit. Let's get in. Get out. Love it. Bye. Without further ado, I'm going to log in and show you what the back office is going to look like for someone who's never logged in before. And then I'm going to show you what the back office looks like for someone who's utilizing it and seeing what the true potential is once you get it set up. Now the beautiful thing with IM Online Dashboard is you get this nice login panel. Um, you can also create a login for your customers to be able to log in and uh, that's password protected and see their own accounts so you don't have to send them weekly updates or monthly updates on their ranking factors. They can go in and see for themselves. And what this will also help you do is sell them more, uh, sell them more services. So if you want to add SEO uh, to your list of social media services you provide your customer or vice versa, uh, you can do that. Now, this is extremely powerful. So what I'm going to show you is uh, what it looks like in the back office. Now, in the back office, we have this nice black uh, interface. Well, if you don't like black, you want white, go down to the bottom and click the button. And it'll convert it to a nice white interface. Well, I'm, uh, I kind of like the black, the dark. So we're going to stick with that, at least for this video. Okay. Um, to add widgets and your control is up here in the top. Okay, so the first one is add your widget. You can add as many widgets as you want. You're not restricted. It's unlimited. Okay, um, you can create new dashboards. 
so let's say you want to look at all your Salesforce statistics in one dashboard, um, you can do that because it gets really deep and there's a lot of stats there. Um, and you can have them organized differently uh, just, just for your own um, you know, personality or you know, if you're setting up a new campaign, you want to measure that. Okay. Um, you can edit dashboards. So if you want to make some changes to the dashboard, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, for the one that you created, you know, with the plus. Okay, um, TV mode. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, this is change background. Uh, you can change the background to, you know, whatever you like. You can upload a file. You can make it, you know, really cool. You can you can do pretty much anything that you want. And, uh, yeah, so it allows you some customization there. You can even add your own branding in here if you want to brand it for your company. So you have total white label opportunities here. And uh, later on, I'll show you how to iframe the online dashboard behind your website. Um, so customers have to go to your website in order to log in. It's really, really quite profound. Okay, um, public URLs. So you can make a URL, or I'm sorry, make a dashboard and make it visible to the public. So if you're doing a, um, a case study and you want the public to see what you're doing, you can uh, create a public URL and iframe that and so it's open to the web. Okay, and then TV mode. TV mode allows you to switch through the, uh, we'll just click the button, allow you to switch through the dashboard. So if we had multiple dashboards, um, it would rotate through them every you know, 30, 45 minute, uh, 10 minutes, whatever. So that way, if you have a big giant projector or TV and you want these resources to be, uh, to, to scroll through, um, you can do that, okay? Uh, very cool. Um, you can duplicate dashboards extremely quick with this duplicate dashboard. Um, so it allows you to save time and resources um, and roll out things very quickly. And then you have, of course, the delete dashboard. Okay, over here on the right-hand side, um, you can look at your data over time. So once you set up IamOnlineDashboard.com's uh, dashboard for you, uh, you'll be able to look at statistics over time. And, uh, and this is all protected. It's all private encrypted. Um, your customer's information, your information will never be shared. It's not available to anybody but you, okay? That's the way the APIs were designed with um, the companies that we connect with, Google, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and the list goes on. Okay, so uh, it's all private, all protected, and all for you. So, uh, but what this allows you to do is look at your data over time and start to see you know, your campaigns moving through. Um, so it's really cool. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, users, you can create users for your dashboards. Um, like I said before, you can let your customers log in and create their name, their email, their password, notify them. Um, and then you can select which dashboard they want, you want them to have access to. You have to create the dashboards for the customers. Okay. But, uh, you don't just have to give them read only. You can give them admin so they can set up their own widgets and that sort of thing. So it's really pretty cool. Um, and, and move them around. All right. And then, uh, settings, um, it's basically your personal information, uh, your, you know, full name, email, password, that sort of thing. Help. You got help support right here. Just send, send us an email. Uh, we'll fire back uh, responses to you. Um, not inside of here. It'll come through your email box, okay? So uh, let's get back to the dashboards here. Let's create a widget. Boom. All right. So uh, we're going to jump in. And this supports, now we just released MCC AdWords. So if you're an agency and you have multiple um, AdWords accounts that you manage in your MCC, multiple client center, uh, you can now do that. It's a pretty powerful tool. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and click here and add a, and we're gonna configure a widget. So we gotta set up an account. All right, allow access. See, it connects through Google. This is all through Google's APIs. Um, it's password protected. We don't get any of this information. And uh, let's do, let's look at tra uh, this organization here. And uh, we'll look at all campaigns. Now, I see you, we have all the campaigns run in here, and you're able to look at the the records. Okay, so um, see how much they're spending, what their impressions, what their clicks were. Uh, we're not doing conversion tracking, um, but you know that's an opportunity to to be able to do that. Okay, so boom, uh, we'll set that up there. Okay, so we want to add another widget. You see how easy it is. Um, you can literally add, you know, stretch, you can, you know, move them around, you can make them smaller, um, that sort of thing, you, can, you know, 10, it goes by 10 pixels, so that's how you can kind of organize them, okay? Let's add another widget. Um, let's do, uh, 
Okay, I'll just go through here really quick since I showed you what the widgets look like. Um, you got AdSense if you're running AdSense sites, AdWords, like I showed you. Blogging, you can hook this up to your WordPress accounts. Um, uh, basically, it's a plugin. You can, I'll show you how to get the plugin. Uh, configure the widget. Go ahead and download it right here. Boom. Download the widget. Okay. And uh, then you install the widget on your website. And it gives you um, a little API plugin that you would then put that API URL right in here and that will be configured. Okay, so that shows you how to use WordPress. All right. So we also have custom. Um, you can bring in CSV files to make charts. You can pull in Google Spreadsheets uh, to make charts. Um, you can you know, do a private URL for charts. Um, you can chart, you can bring a push API in. So that means that you can, from your other programs, you can push into the API um, HTML so this allows you to totally have your own um, site let's say if you want to have um, uh, we'll just do we'll do our own site here no anything you want to you can you can put in here um, so it makes it nice and totally customizable you can create whatever you want okay and uh, so that's very powerful images. If you want an image in there, RSS feeds, that's pretty sweet. Email, okay, so this works with Constant Contact, uh, Gmail, MailChimp, um, SendGrid, and uh, we're working on Aweber, okay? Monitoring, you can watch your Amazon CloudWatch. Uh, Google Alerts, you can you know get all your Google Alerts RSS feeds inside of here. Uh, Google Trends, you can see trends over time. You can figure you know whatever trend you want uh, digital marketing, uh, your company, um, you know your competitors, that sort of thing. Pingdom, you can sign up for a free free Pingdom account and see what your uptime is on your website, uh, the response times when it's down. It's really quite cool um, how that works. Uh, it's it's extremely powerful in terms of uh, being able to see when your uh, your accounts have been down. Um, you can keep your uh, hosting providers accountable to their 99.9% .9 uptime. Okay, um, and they also send you email notifications if the site's down too. Okay, other, you get countdown information if you want to have like a time till goal, uh, you know, if you're trying to reach a goal by 2013 or whatever, 14. Uh, go to webinar, time, you put, you know, time in there. You know, what time is it here? It's, uh, you know, we're in central time. Um, and, uh, you know, if you work with, you know, outsourcers, you can put in, uh, Outsourcer's time there. Um, you know, if it's in, uh, let's say you have, uh, you know, cust uh, out virtual assistants in India or the Philippines or uh, South America. Um, so you can totally put that in there to, so you're not just like, oh, what time is it over yonder? <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. Salesforce it hooks or hooks up with uh, FreshBooks, so if you do you know invoicing and expenses through FreshBooks, you can hook that up in here. Salesforce, um, you know you can get your leads, your accounts, your contacts, opportunities, tasks. I mean this gets extremely incredible. Look at all the uh, op, you know the, the the metrics you can pull in inside of inside of here. Um, it's very very powerful, very sweet. Um, I'll show you some examples of how we used it with our sales teams, and uh, let's see here. Um, FreshBooks, I'll show you what all hooks up within the FreshBooks. Um, basically, their API and their API token. Pretty cool. SEO. SEO. <laughs> all right, this hooks up with Google Webmaster Tools. Uh, so you can get you know, your information from Google Webmaster Tools, such as you know messages from Google's Webmaster Tools, uh, crawling errors, site sitemap URLs, uh, internal keywords, external keywords. Can also hook it up with SEO Moz. Um, let's see here. You, know, you get SEO Moz information um, right here. I mean, you can even stack these on top of each other, save space, or even condense them down. Um, very customizable, very cool, very flexible. Okay. And uh, let's see here. Let's add another widget. 
search engine ranking position. It takes 24 hours for the search engine rankings to update, okay? Um, but once they update, they update every day, and it'll show you a graph over time um, how they're being updated, okay? So uh, literally just set up for your customers and let them roll with it, okay? And then you never have to send ranking reports. It does it for you. Now, how many tools out there do you pay for ranking reports? Now, this does it. If you don't get this now, then you're missing out. Like, this is an opportunity that you need to jump on. We haven't even got to the social media platform yet, guys. Are you excited? This is only $37 a month. I'm serious. This is stupid cheap. We're adding more features every day. You get in now, you get grandfathered in, okay? It's becoming more powerful, more powerful every single month. So, get in, stay in, utilize this for its potential. It's extremely powerful.